honest moment for a second? You at home too? Can we have an honest moment? Just by a show of hands, and I'm raising my hand with you, how many of you are filled to capacity right now? Just by an honest show of hands. It's hard to own, isn't it? That might be the first realization. Is it's hard to own more at capacity because we see it not as strength but as weakness. But I see that as one of our greatest strengths that Christ can supply. So here's number six. When you're filled at capacity, God can't fill you anymore. So number six is this. We need to make room for God. And that doesn't look like filling your life with Bible readings every morning and going to church as often as you can and and sharing all these Bible verses and sending this and praying over people and everything you can do with Christ, you're doing for Christ. That's a lot of busy work for Christ sometimes. When you're at capacity, you need to be the first to confess, I'm at capacity. And then you need to say, what needs to come off my plate? What do I need to remove in life so that I can make room for God to fill me? Because you're not going to fill yourself when you're at capacity. I think you realize that there's nothing you can do to fill yourself when you're at capacity because everything in life is acting on you. And the best you can do is stay afloat. The best you can do is say, I'm here. And how many times have you guys said that? Nope, I'm here. I'm present. Like that's where I'm at. My feet brought me to this location. Tell me what to do next because I didn't think any more beyond this point. Like that's it. I'm at capacity. So how do you expect them to be filled by the Holy Spirit? Because that same conversation you're having with yourself and hopefully with other people around you is the same conversation we're having with God. I'm at capacity.